I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. I always thought that Hermione and Ron would be together. Always. <laughs> I always thought that she had a crush on Ron from the very beginning. I think over the years we're seeing a lot more depth in these characters because obviously at this point Ron is kind of cares a lot about Hermione. Hermione. On the brink of falling in love. And all this tension that's been building for the previous seven films, for the previous six and a half books, we've been desperate for the two of them to get together. And now they do. I've never got this far before. They go to the Chamber of Secrets to destroy Horcrux. The skeleton of the basilisk was still where we left it in the, in the second one, so it's kind of eerie. That's the scene where Ron and Hermione have their little moment. They knew it was kind of coming, because you know it's part of the story, it was in the script, but they worry a lot about it. Yeah, David kind of sprang it on us. There's a scene that we should talk this week that we should talk about once you've read it. So have a look at it, because we're doing the kiss this week between Ron and Hermione. What? Doing the kiss between Ron and Hermione in, this the, cham week. This week. in the Chamber of Secrets. I was dreading it, to be honest. You are uh, not allowed to be in <laughs> Everyone was there for my kiss. I think it's just because I've known us for so long, it's kind of like 10 years. If someone is literally like a sibling to you, you've grown up with them. Being put in a situation where you have to kiss them is is just really awkward. I think we kind of built it up into this kind of really awkward, horrible kind of thing. Because there's so much anticipation with these two. Because it has been building up since the early ones. So we both wanted to do it right. And we're rolling. We have a close set. It's always good to have a few people on the set as possible and to make it as comfortable for them as possible. Okay, guys, here we go, shooting. Rupert was like, I don't know how we're going to do it. And I was like, I've got no idea either. And uh, no. We were both more worried about the fact that we just wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we did have a trouble kind of keeping a straight face. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't working. <laughs> Sorry. And I just said to Rupert, don't be Rupert, forget Rupert, just be Ron. Just let Ron take over in that moment. And I said the same thing to Emma, let Hermione take over in that moment. And Emma, as ever, is so smart. She knows that rather than doing 27 takes, she knew if she committed really early, <laughs> we'd get it. I saw her make the decision in her eyes. I saw her think, I'm gonna have to really go for it. I just kind of had to put the incredible amount of history that I have with Rupert aside and be Hermione. So um, she really <laughs> went for it, which to Rupert's surprise, she just went boom, right in there. <laughs> doing it, they're in a huge amount of danger. They've nearly just died. And I think in that moment, it's about both of them realizing, if we're gonna die tonight, the one thing I actually want to do is kiss you. Once we did it, it was, yeah, it was, it was nice. I think they kind of leave some of that laughing in. Because <laughs> uh, I think it's quite a natural kind of thing. That was great, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite romantic, really. It was good. He's a nice kisser.